Basically what I'm doing is a, what I did was a feasibility study, um, seeing if we can install waterless urinals at UCT just to save water um, and to recover phosphorus from urine to sort of treat that phosphorus and uh, rework it to make, to make um, fertilizers because there's a phosphorus shortage in the world and apparently phosphorus will be depleted within the next hundred years or so and what I've, what I've been doing is just seeing social opinion whether students and staff would want to, would welcome um, having it, having a waterless system that recovers phosphorus and people, whether people would be accepting of eating food that was grown using fertilizers that recovered phosphorus from urine. The idea is that um, uh, the urea in urine um, can convert into ammonia and a carbonate and um, with enough calcium it can form a calcium carbonate um, and that's a cement. We stop the urea from hydrolyzing um, by in the waterless urinals um, by putting calcium hydroxide in it and basically highs the pH so that the urea doesn't hydrolyze and um, this is another project and they um, make fertilizers out of it and then I get the liquid from that and um, I use bacteria in the sand columns over here and um, they basically uh, make the process happen and it's immense um, between the sand particles and then you can get a biosolid. This was my first run so it's yeah. This is a potential um, building material. I've made um, a brick mold um, and it's standard size so the next step would to be gr to grow a brick from the urine. So basically what I did was to construct a water urinal makeshift one which I actually installed in uh, 10 UCT students bathrooms from there, I collected the urine for around a month, a month and five days more, which uh, then I collected in those tanks. And from there, I had a, a chemical inside the tanks that decreases, actually like cuts off all the malodor and, and, and it neutralizes and hydrolyzes the urine. And uh, it actually makes the fertilizer as uh, the, the participants are using the urinals, which I then transported here to campus and uh, my next step was to actually filter the solid and uh, collect it and dry it, which uh, I got uh, as my final product to be the fertilizer. You can recover some more fertilizers um, if you use a sulfuric acid scrubber. Um, you can get an ammonium sulfate and there's still also potassium in there which can be recovered. Um, after which, I mean, urine's 95% water, so you could um, use it for flushing toilets or treat it more. So those are things that still have to come.